Hi everybody, it's Dick Ziggin, the permanently unelected mayor of Coney Island, in my heat wave outfit, looking a little Maurice Chalvalier, setting up the French bistro for the outdoor sidewalk cafe. Instead, wait a minute, we can't open the sidewalk cafe we just opened last week that we promoted all week long because the governor changed the definition of food. Popcorn and pretzels are no longer food. We're closed this weekend after opening last weekend. These are crazy times. It's the state of our lives. And hey, uh, since I can't work as bar back like I planned to today, and I've got a lightweight outfit on. Uh, these talks are called State of Coney Island Addresses. So let's take a walk around and look at changes that you're not aware of if you haven't been out here this weird summer of 2020. Put these back. So, okay, if you are a regular customer, and usually in the audience, especially for the late night burlesque at the beach shows or just hanging around for Coney Island nightlife, um, look at what just is about to open across the street. I know, I know, Donna Zita makes the world's best Mexican food. I agree, I definitely agree. But they're not open till four in the morning and they're not directly across the street from where the burlesque shows and late night shows happen. Taco Bell Cantina will have a full alcohol license, a small dance floor, and be open late night uh, once Coney Island reopens. I think it's a plus, Taco Bell Cantina. Okay, so Chill is gone. That's a really cool building where the B&B carousel used to be. You entrepreneurs out there. IHOP is doing outdoor seating. And uh, I want to show you a brand new place called Terraza that just opened. So right across the street from the landmark Cyclone Roller Coaster, this great building, but Starbucks uh, is having a disagreement with the community board. Can't open, but Terraza, I believe, is, is open. Let's see if we can get in. Uh, I'm not sure I'm dressed appropriately. Terraza has an outdoor patio, which I believe is open. Might even be open right now. Oh, I think I'll get the tuna and mackerel. Be back <laughs> for different options and different price levels and different levels of fast food or sophistication. Let's go, Surf Avenue. So, you are here getting an inside look into the state of Coney Island with the mayor. I want to point out a detail you see this air compressor has letters that say Victoria Gardens, where up until recently, Zamperla ran rides in Central Park. Um, as Luna Park is trying, hoping, praying to reopen with social distancing, uh, they've made clever use of pulling those rides out of Central Park 
and moving them to where Wild River, the water flume, was just last season at Luna Park. Um, so if the rides do open anytime summer 2020, and if you have kids, kids, new stuff. Victoria Gardens Grand Prix. If your kids go to Central Park all the time, it's not such new stuff. Hey, so we're on the boardwalk and this is actually being filmed Saturday at about 2.30, prime time, the weekend, heat wave. So I promised you a real look at the state of Coney Island. Let's check out how uh, Coney Island is doing social distancing. I live here, I'm here every day. I think we're doing great on weekdays. Let's take a look at weekend. Check out Paul's daughter, the uh, social distancing. Hey, if you love Luna Park, Luna Park is currently hey, closed, but he'll sell you a Luna Park t-shirt and you can also buy Luna Park Gelato with Coney Cones. Masks coming at us. I see a lot of masks tonight. Dino's snack bar looks socially distanced. And they all wear a mask. I actually thought it was going to be much worse than this. Go Coney Island. Hey, Dino's Wonder Wheel is closed, although some of us think that's stupid. Uh, but their Famiglia Pizzeria is open. Their uh, t-shirts are available. And here's one of the owners, Dennis Foderis. Hi, guys. Welcome to Coney Island. Welcome to the boardwalk. I think Coney Island is doing great. Uh, we're being fairly responsible. I think uh, the governor is punishing us because people are stupid in the East Village and Hell's Kitchen. Well, it's not even New Yorkers. He's punishing us for uh, things that are going on in Florida, Texas, Arizona. And my point yesterday on the phone call to the state and the city, we were all talking, I said, you should really look at the numbers in New York, Pennsylvania, Connecticut, New Jersey. Amusement parks are open 10 miles from here in New Jersey. Shore. I opened the sidewalk cafe. We could not have done things more properly last right. weekend. Right. I wish we had a big crowd that we had to distance. Business wasn't so good. Right. Yesterday afternoon, the governor changes the definition of what food is and right. Pretzels and popcorn are not food, so we're not open this weekend because we've got to set up to have hot dogs next week. Well, you should you should sell Cuomo chips. Cuomo You've chips. You've heard of Cuomo chips, yeah. right? So I, I think that's just the antagonizing the state liquor authority and uh, asking so. for an inspection. Maybe so. All right, well, there's better days ahead, sir. All right. Better I'm hoping, I don't see why the Wonder Wheel can't be open at reduced capacity in August. At this point, you know, we, we're almost, we've almost exhausted, we're almost exhausted from, from pleading our case. Yep. And it's just, we're, we're falling on deaf ears. Keep on keeping on. Right on. Local Community Board 13. That is correct. And we are honestly up here 
uh, evaluating how well uh, Coney Island and Brooklyn are doing social distancing. As you know, like you, I live in the neighborhood. Yep. I'm at the beach a lot during the week. I'm a, it's not typical of me to be up here Saturday primetime. I see a lot of people wearing masks. What do you give us, it's, like, a B minus? Or we're doing better than Florida. I yeah. know that. <laughs> well, that's a hell of a comparison. But yeah. yeah, we're doing better than Florida. But it's a mix. It's a mixed bag, you know. Given, given the day, and given, um, you know, who's out here. So it's either going to see less than 50% of the people wearing masks, or when it's not that crowded, you see more people wearing masks. At the end of the day. People feel that they're safer out here in front of the, the ocean, not wearing a mask. So, you know, maybe that's the, the reason why you see that many people doing it. Uh, but social distancing, um, last weekend, um, I didn't dare come down to Senate. It was so crowded. No. You know, I just, I, I avoided it and... Uh, no, 4th of July, it, yeah, I mean, yeah. it's not good for your health. No, no, it wasn't We can good. both agree on that. It wasn't right good now. for the health um, and... You know, I saw the number of people out here, and, and not just the number of people, but the number not wearing masks. I said, it's not for me. Are we doing uh, better getting lifeguards down at the West End so those bays we, are open? We did. Uh, last weekend until Monday, we had most of the stations uh, that were, were staffed. But as of, as of um, two days ago, they're no longer staffing uh, most of the chairs. So you don't really see anything between 22nd and 31st Street at this point. Again, again. So and well, again, state of Coney Island yeah. unfiltered uh, 2020. Yeah. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So, Thank you. It's a miss. Yep. All right. Good to see. You. So what we're looking at right now is the end of West 12th Street which is being demapped, no longer a street below Wonder Wheel Way. And in a minute, we'll take a look at an artist's rendering of what's supposed to be here right now, but it's postponed until next year. And there's another section over here. The sidewalks are gonna remain open to the public for getting uh, from Surf Avenue up to the boardwalk, but all of the middle of the street here is about to become part of Luna Park. So here is an artist's rendering of what's supposed to already have been built at the end of West 12th Street. It's a large plaza, there's seating. Um, these are containers that I believe would have gangs or f games or food inside, picnic tables, all of this together with a uh, mosaic in uh, the pavement um, will be here next year. Um, one of the changes of Coney Island in transition and if we just turn around this way, look at this huge empty piece of property. For those of you who know Coney Island, the Polar Express was right there. The ghost hole to its right. Um, the bumping cars and Saturn 6 on the corner, all of that's gone. This property has been purchased by Dino's Wonder Wheel Park and next year, Next year, it will be one giant, huge new ride. Good evening, parents. Margarita Tonight, I'm going to take you on a tour. Open. Pina coladas are available. And games of chance on West 12th Street are open. So some of you will remember this being the corner of the Brooklyn Nuts shop, which is gone. 
now it's a basketball hoop shot, and that's what was there 20 years ago. Hangman challenge. So here we are at the end of Stillwell Avenue, where again, by this point, everything below Wonder Wheel Way, the pedestrian walkway, is being demapped. It will no longer be the end of Stillwell Avenue. It will be a grand entrance to the beach. Costs no money to enter. There will be the light up Luna Park trademark pinwheels and towers um, to either restaurants or games and all these wonderful geometric inserts into the plaza pavement. Scheduled to have already been built, definitely will be here for 2021. So we're at the end of West 15th Street, uh, one of three expansions of Luna Park at the end of streets below south of Wonder Wheel Way. So this rendering shows you, again, some seating, a potential snack bar area, but in the middle of what's now West 15th Street, a gated area to a ride that I believe is the rope challenge, uh, the rope climbing course, um, unless I'm totally wrong about that. Uh, what's coming in the new Cody Island but didn't quite make it for uh, 2020. Hey, let's look at this because we're about to check out where they began work on perhaps Luna Park's coming largest ride, a combination roller coaster water slide with two, count them, two roller coaster drops into the water. Um, millions and millions of dollars being spent on this ride, which was supposed to be happening this summer, is partially built. Come on, let's take a look at how far they got before everything got messed up in 2020. Come on. Ed, so what do you see? I, these are all parts. Uh, it's like an erector set to put a giant multi-million dollar ride together. In the middle of the street, you see uh, there's like conveyor belts. I think that's the lift hill. Uh, for the cars that uh, take you up the hill before you splash on the water flume. Um, there's a staircase sitting around somewhere. Um, there's a platform stair. Uh, there's these big metal pieces scattered all around waiting for the foundation to be finished. So let's look at the foundation. So through the end of March, they were still pouring cement and doing these massive foundations, which I think are about 70% complete. Uh, but since the pandemic shut down construction, they have not restarted. I believe Luna Park is more focused on trying to open a few rides this summer uh, straighten out their finances, uh, but this obviously is well underway. The pieces for the ride are sitting around various lots in Coney Island. 
and we will have a fantastic new ride in 2021. So that's a wrap for this week, folks. It is the unusual summer of 2020. You can see behind me, there's another Black Lives Matter demonstration happening in Coney Island. Uh, I support Coney Island USA supports Black Lives Matter. Um, I also urge you, even in this difficult year, to remember culture, remember charity. Please visit ConeyIsland.com. You can contribute there. You can watch my other speeches there. And you can order one of the brand new uh, Mermaid Parade 2020 Black Lives Matter t-shirts. Uh, my pleasure always. See you again next week from Coney Island.